Kia ora tato, ko Paula Tisiriro Aho. I'm the Disability Rights Commissioner in New Zealand. Today, on International Women's Day, I am choosing to challenge why the words violence, abuse, and disabled women are all too often positioned together in global data. Women are twice as likely to suffer partner abuse than men. Māori women, queer women, trans women, disabled women and young women experience the most violence and are most likely to be re-victimised by our current systems. In many studies, more than 90% of intellectually disabled women disclose sexual abuse. Partner or family violence is about the desire for power and the misuse of that power. For disabled women, that misuse can occur in unique ways, such as removing essential support or equipment. Underreporting due to the private nature of abuse, whether financial, emotional, physical or sexual, is also higher for disabled people. That's because people can face barriers when asking for help and because of the control that other people often have over their lives. Too many people live in silence, fear and pain. And too many new impairments are created through physical and emotional trauma and injuries. We need collective solutions. I am proud to be working with other disabled women and non-disabled women to say that we refuse to be the silent targets of violence and abuse. Namahi nui kia koutou katoa. Happy International Women's Day. Please join me in talking more about this really important issue of violence and abuse against women. And in particular, I want people to be thinking about violence and abuse towards disabled.